Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with yet a new Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play. And yes, I know I haven't finished the two Conclave Let's Plays that I have going on. But, I will get to finishing those as well. But anyway, this is the Reaper's Due, a new Paradox uh, interactive uh, expansion to Crusader Kings 2. Which should be fairly interesting. Again, I got pre-release access to it, so... Things may not be the same as when uh, it is actually released, though it should be pretty close. So for some info on this DLC, so what does it have? Well, for instance, you get symptoms. The characters don't have just simple ill trait, but now they can get a cough, a fever, or other special issues, and there's plenty of those. Uh, I can tell you that. Now you can also get a court physician, which is uh, yet another new minor title. Which could help them, uh, well, kill you if they so desire when you're in uh, trouble. Because they will be the ones uh, doing the diagnosing and treating illnesses. Or if they're actually good people, they will actually treat you properly and make sure that you are you know, safe from illnesses. Now again, you also have some death screams. There was a, a funny dev diary about that, where uh, they po they posted some of the death screams, and uh, yeah, it was uh, kind of hilarious. Although I'm not sure if uh, that can be a word used to describe death screams, but uh, okay, let's just roll with it, I guess. Then you also have, of course, uh, epidemics. So these have been in the game for a while now, but. Now they can spread along the Silk Road, and they are much more likely to spread to coastal, so basically rich provinces. And they will not really spread inland as much, so interesting stuff. This is like a nerf to coastal provinces slightly, because coastal provinces are really, really strong in this uh, game, so to speak. So yeah, very interesting stuff. They will cause depopulation as well, which means reducing tax income, levies, and such. And of course, a major feature as well, the Black Death. Of course, this is the Reapers do, so what can the Reapers do be without Black Death? So, now this, this is essentially an event that will happen 200 years into any game, regardless of where you actually started that game. So, whether you started, I don't know, the earliest scenario date, which I'm going to be starting here, the early Middle Ages. I like starting in this one because this is when things are underdeveloped. So I can just build up my own holdings the way I want them to be, essentially. So that's why I like starting early and not later on. Because later on, there's not much to build anymore. Or at least not as much. Now what else is there? Ah, yes, prosperity system. So if you're at peace and your provinces are like not raided or ravaged and such, your provinces will gain bonuses. They will get more levies, they will get more taxes, so pretty nice stuff. And when I say more levies, obviously I mean uh, your levies will recover faster so you don't actually get an increase to your uh, max levy count as uh, far as I'm aware just uh, a replenishment boost oh and also there's uh, another thing you can do if you're independent and uh, if you're a duke level or higher you can set one of your own provinces that is one of your domain provinces as a crown focus which means that, again, you'll be getting some more events and it should be giving you some nice boosts as well. And there's a lot more stuff like nicknames, new executions, new interactions with prisoners, and lots of other things that are in the game. So basically, this is a DLC that does add quite a bit. But anyway, enough uh, with that. Let's just get into the game, shall we? So what are we going to be doing? Well, basically, I'm going to be playing as uh, the Earl Ethelred of York. Looks like he is pretty young as he's age 7, so we'll not be able to do much as age 7. 
in the early Middle Ages. So, 1st of January, 769. 769, wow, that's one way to read the year. 769, there you go. All right, well, we're a vassal of Northumbria, which is pretty obvious since this is the petty kingdom of Northumbria. So let's select this York guy. So we'll, we, what we'll probably do is, well, let's just hit play. And now again, interesting new thing here. Let's just enable Iron Man mode. So now we get our achievements. Reset all rules. Shatter Retreat is on. So there's some interesting things here. A lot of different choices here, and some of them will actually affect whether or not you can enable achievements or not. So, you can see here, this setting disables achievements. Historical or random. Nope. We'll just do historical. Shattered Retreat is another one that some people like, some others don't like. So, uh, I mean, I'm just going to keep Shattered Retreat on. Defensive Pacts. This is another thing that does not really affect achievements. Hmm. Let's just put defensive pacts on. So now again, sunset invasion, Aztec invasion. Let's not do any of this. <laughs> Reapers do minor epidemics. Let's do default with major epidemics. Yeah. That. Wow. <laughs> okay. We should just do it probably historical, yeah. Or historical? No, 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 no. This takes too long, so let's just do dynamic. Yeah, sunset invasion off. Reapers do minor epidemics default. Historical Mongol invasion. Shattered retreat on. Defensive packs on. So all of this stuff is good. Iron Man mode enabled. Achievements enabled. Start game. Now let's get rolling, shall we? Okay. Well, it looks like I get new stuff, a new pop-up when you're starting in, so that's cool, but I'm not gonna read it, you guys can read it. So, what is there that we are going to be doing? Well, first of all, I like a focus, and that focus should be thrift, because we want to be rich. Now, I can grant Court Physician, and you can see a nice little color over here as well, so the only one we can get is this guy. Okay, so there we go, we have our Court Physician. Now if we look at the potential laws here, or positions rather, okay, we should start out with like the best guys we have in our court for the uh, respective uh, positions. Now we can just go ahead and, uh, first of all, collect taxes right here. Train troops right here. Fabricate claims on Durham right here. Because this is the Earl of Durham. So he needs to be, you know, dealt with. Because he is currently a tad stronger than us. Actually, he doesn't have as many levies. But what we're going to be doing, basically, is we'll, we'll be waiting for the claim. In the meantime, we might build the castle town. Which would be useful. And also, what I want to do is... Uh, Want to arrange a betrothal? Let's see if we can find a genius wife, or a quick one, or uh, an attractive, or if not attractive, then let's go for uh, strong. Nope. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Now, if I go for a stewardship one, well, okay, that doesn't make much sense. Let's just go for stewardship. Okay, so this one is 14 years old. I am seven, so she's way too young. This one is zero. Mm. You see, this is another problem. Since she's 14, she's not going to be that great. So I'll just, I'll just, you know, not marry anyone. But I can always get betrothed in case. No, why should I do that? Ugh. This one is really bad in stewardship. So I'm, I mean, I'm just going to go with this one and. If it's bad, like, I'll just break the throttle and who cares, right? So, let's let's unpause, or actually, should I unpause? No, let's look at the other stuff first. Economy, military, obviously not going to raise any levies right now. Intrigue, 
Okay, so here's some new stuff. Record, re recruit court physician. Well, basically, uh, we cannot do this because obviously we have a court physician. So yeah, I think. And then we can shut the gates, which is interesting because we could be paranoid or we could have an epidemic active, which yeah. That would be funny. <laughs> but no, we don't need to do that. Now though, we can borrow some money from the Jewish money lenders. Always a good thing because with this, you can beef up your castle town. So there we go. I'm gonna beef up the castle town. Already boosting our income. I could build a new uh, castle here or something. And you know what? I could also build a hospital. Which would honestly help a lot in case uh, there's a disease. Hmm. But I mean, is it something that we want to build right now? That is, that is the more important uh, question, honestly. And probably it's not something that we want to build right now. We want to save our money for later. But you know, I'm really tempted to build the hospital here. Still though, I want to save for m more money. Because getting money first is more important than the population. <laughs> so yeah, let's just uh, speed things up to speed 4. I mean, we're getting some money right now and we're getting our guys here. Actually, there's a problem. We need to study technology. So let's go study all the way in Constantinople. And please don't die. That would be sad if you die. Offer a donation. Why would I do that? No, do not increase the power of the council. What are you doing? So people here should be Catholic, right? There we go. Would be weird if they were Muslim or anything of the like. Now though, again, we're gonna try and slowly get some power in our own kingdom here and then usurp our king eventually. That is always the plan, right? Like basically, Crusader Kings 2 is a Game of Thrones. Even though there is also a Game of Thrones mod for CK2, which also makes the game even more amazing than it currently is. So yeah, I guess they're gonna have to update it for uh, the Reapers Do though, which should be interesting, honestly, because Reapers Do does add some additional possibilities for uh, the Game of Thrones mod, so it's gonna be nice, I think, as long as they update it, and I hope they will update it. Intrigue, intrigue, intrigue. Well, we've already borrowed. It would be funny to borrow twice though. How would I? Why would I donate money to our liege? Who would do such a thing? That's so much money. Like, here, take all my money, liege. Nope, who would do that? Certainly not me, because we want. I want money. So yeah, let's just upgrade the castle walls, because, again, important. So we can get the next level of castle towns, and once we get that castle town, well, more money shall be had. What's our monthly expenses like? Oh, obviously we pay our liege, so that's kind of bad. Okay. If I get curious, shrewd, cynical, or, hmm, in piety, no. Um, okay. Whatever, mate, whatever. It was a real secret letter. Still, we're getting our money. Come on, in York. Need to get those castle walls built so we can... Build those castle towns. Always the castle towns. Really cool stuff. Okay, now we don't actually have enough money for castle town. Oh, is there a disease here? Are you kidding me? Great. You can shut the gates. Ha! Huh. Why would I do such a thing? So, already we're running into the Reaper's Do mechanics. But... I will not build a hospital because I want more money. Ugh, but this epidemic is just hurting us so much right now. Ugh. I want to build the castle town. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh wow, so we get this nice little icon over here. I'm ravaged by an epidemic. 
Ooh. So there is the epidemics map mode as well. Apparently there's nobody else other than us is ravaged by epidemics. Great. So unlucky. Wait, what? We lost our core chaplain. How did he die? That is the more important question. Was he struck by a, an epidemic? Well, that would be pretty bad if he was. I, I mean, I might want to shut the gates though. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Damn it. Do we not have a court physician? What? I could recruit a court physician, yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a lot. And this guy is... What? Why would I have a blind court physician? No thanks. Oh, a mystic blind man. Well, yeah, that's definitely it. They cure somehow. Okay. I do not require his services. Thank you. But I do not require his services. In fact, I require money. And then I really want to build that hospital because I need to not have issues. Ugh. <clears throat> Shut the gates again. No, have no fear. Yes, we are now brawny. So good. This is really good. Okay, and we have a focus. So, since I am brawny, well, no. Playful and curious. Okay. Playful and curious. Mm. Diplomatic was good for this. Okay, rowdy and affectionate. No, we don't have any of those. But stewardship is always a good one. So, I mean, let's just go with stewardship, right? And once we're, like, nearly the age, we will go ahead and uh, do it. So, yeah, finally, we got rid of the disease. But we really want to build that hospital right there. So, yeah. Sadly, we cannot. Really? He's in seclusion. What? Oh, he's back. Okay, thank you. I have to send you back, really. Stop being in seclusion. Jesus. Really, I am shrewd now. That's so good. Guys, why are you in seclusion? And I want to forbid all of you to from leading armies, because, yay. You're gonna research cultural tech, you're gonna study technology, my spy master in Constantinople, and they will probably find you. And I don't care if you die. Well, actually, I might care, just a little bit. Hmm, now York, York, York. We gotta get that castle down, but it's gonna take a while. Hmm. Wonderful. Yes, truly wonderful. So I need to decide on the proper duchies. Okay, thrifty clerk. Could be worse. Really, I became deceitful. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so what I want to do right now is I want to go for uh, scholarship, right? Yeah. This is always a good thing to go for. 25 gold, there we go. Let's go for it. And then we're gonna build the, the good thing. Okay, we lost our spy master, so. That is unfortunate, but now we have a new spy master, which means. Well, let's just scheme in our own lands, shall we? And this guy is not back here. And we can marry this woman, which is. Uh, could be worse, right? She has lover's box. I mean, whatever. 
She's 23, we can still get kids, I guess. And she's not as bad as possible, you know. I guess it is everyone's concern. Always money over prestige. Always money. Well, almost always, anyway. Yes, I'm studying the stars. I'll deal with this later. Okay, pick an ambition. We need an ambition. Room and air, build a war chest, acquire tile, become king of England. Ha! <laughs> nice one. You know what? Let's groom an air. That's what we want to do. Designated regent. Let's make it our chancellor. Righteous imprisonment. What has he been doing? Well, doesn't really matter what he's been doing now, does it? Anyway, that should be enough for now. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on social media and I'll see you next time.